हेलो फ्रेंड डिफेंस एंड स्पेस रिसर्च रिलेटेड न्यूज़ पाने के लिए इसी चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करिए और बेल आइकन को भी प्रेस करिए सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ पाकिस्तान टैक्टिकल न्यूक्लियर वेपन A tactical nuclear weapon (TNW) is a nuclear weapon, smaller in its explosive power, which is developed to be used in the military situation on a battlefield. A TNW is a non-strategic weapon. It is the product of Cold War. The U.S. considered it convenient to deploy TNWs on the territory of its North Atlantic Treaty allies to save them from the Soviet largest conventional force. The TNWs became part of the U.S. policy to enhance deterrence to prevent Soviet aggression in Europe. Pakistan also developed NASA to thwart India from launching military offensive in the form of the Cold Start Doctrine (CSD). Pakistan's desire to become a nuclear-armed state is rooted in a belief to secure itself from India, which has supremacy in conventional force along with nuclear arsenals. Nuclear weapons hence play crucial role in Pakistan's overall military strategy. NASA missile system is the short-range missile system for tactical level operations. In fact, NASA is a rapid response weapon developed to support full-spectrum deterrence by thwarting India's growing conventional strength advantages. The NASA is reported to have 60 km range along terminal guidance system. Tactical weapons such as NASA are designed with the limited range to be used against an opponent who has supremacy in conventional force over Pakistan. According to the former head of the Strategic Plan Division (SPD), Lieutenant General Kidwai, the nuclear weapons would be only used if the very existence of Pakistan as a state is at stake. The sole aim of the nuclear weapons is to deter Indian aggression. He also stated that Indian CSD is an offensive limited war strategy designed to seize Pakistan's territory swiftly. Hence, the developments of TNWs have sufficiently blocked the avenues for serious military operation from the Indian military side. The NASA has been designed to consolidate Pakistan's strategic capabilities at all levels of the threat spectrum. In 2011, Pakistan conducted the test of tactical nuclear weapons. In July 2011, India also tested its TNWs Prahar. They compared it with the American TNWs with claim that development of these TNWs took Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO 2 years. The Prahar has many similarities with NASA for example it can be deployed rapidly within a few minutes. It can be fired from a road mobile launcher. The second test of TNWs was conducted in 2013. A year later another test of TNWs was conducted. According to SPD the effects of this missile are strategic in nature and they would increase the existing deterrence capability. In fact NASA is well timed and necessary to address the problem of conventional asymmetry between Pakistan and India. Pakistan is not interested in symmetry with India but it wants to maintain the strategic stability in South Asia. While Indian Cold Start doctrine, its conventional military modernization and its deals in civil nuclear field with superpower generated the need for Pakistan to design TNWs. Because Indian conventional force modernization render the Pakistan nuclear massive retaliation inevitable. Safan Awaz Jaspal states that the NASA is a cost-effective way due to Pakistan's resource constraints to alleviate the rapidly growing conventional asymmetries between India and Pakistan and to counter the threat of limited war. Because India has been the world's largest arms importer since 2009. The development of short-range missile is part of Pakistan's security policy because India has supremacy in conventional force and it spends more money than Pakistan on its military force modernization. While Pakistan also can spend more money on its conventional force, but it believes in minimum credible nuclear deterrence within its limited financial resources. The purpose of the development of TNWs is defensive not offensive because Pakistan would use it to fortifying its borders. NASA has been criticized by the international community and India by arguing that it would increase arm race in the region, but the purpose of this development is just to overcome the growing threats from the Indian hawkish doctrines. CSD forces Pakistan to increase its dependence on nuclear weapons. The dilemma is that if India violates any international law nobody says anything. 
But if Pakistan takes any step to deter Indian aggression and secure its border, international community criticizes Pakistan. Great powers are interested to change the rules of international non-proliferation regimes for India, but their attitude towards Pakistan is very discriminatory. International community should understand that Pakistan does not do anything independently, but, it follows India. India's hawkish policies force Pakistan to convert its nuclear doctrine from minimum to full deterrence while Pakistan believes in minimum credible nuclear deterrence. Thanks for watching. The subscribe and click the bell icon for daily update.